hello youtube friends welcome back to my channel if this is your first time being on my channel i go by zanji does and today's video is going to be a voiceover situation but for the most part i post hair videos and life advice videos so for today's video for some years now not even months some years people have been raving about flaxseed gel if you've never heard of flaxseed gel basically somebody i don't know who decided one day to boil the seeds and found out that when you boil these seeds a jelly like substance since comes about from it and whoever decided next to put it in their hair found that it's really just as good as regular gel apparently so i decided once i did my research and i saw so many girls trying it out so many people trying it out i wanted to go ahead and give it a try myself i am super 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 into gel i'm not against it at all i think if you need it use it so i definitely think that an alternative could be used for gel of course and i thought this seemed like the healthiest cleanest way to do so so i tried my hand at it and this is how it went starting off i bought these flaxseed gels off of amazon whole foods ish i believe came really fast of course but these are how little flaxseed gels are flax seeds are and i was really interested in how they look the texture but i wanted to show you guys as well what it looks like up close and very fine very small and they can definitely fall but to begin you're gonna be needing a mason jar to store your gel in a measuring cup and you will also be needing some tights okay and i'm gonna explain why so you're gonna go ahead and grab your measuring cup and you're gonna slowly pour in your seeds i am following someone's directions from another video i will link them below but they used about one fourth cup of seeds you're gonna put the heat to medium high and you just put your seeds in first so for one fourth cup of the seeds you're gonna put i believe it was two and a half cups of water so after you put all your seeds in the pan you're gonna go ahead and stir this up and you know you just want to get all the seeds covered with water so that no seed is left behind <laughs> You're gonna stir 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 and then you're gonna just let it simmer there and it'll start boiling and it does its magic all by itself it's really that simple so while that boils, you're gonna grab your little fishnets, okay? Your tights, sorry, these are not fishnets. You're gonna grab them and you're gonna cut them about this length right here, maybe the upper thigh is what I'd say. After doing so to both sides, you're gonna go ahead and wrap it around a bowl, okay? And you're gonna see why. So it's really neat that this bowl kind of has rubber grips at the bottom where my f net, why do you call them fish nets? Where my tights can stay kind of attached at the bottom, but you wanna, really want to make sure that your tights kind of go all the way to the bottom of the bowl because you're essentially going to be pouring the flaxseed gel into here to strain it. And so if you do not properly secure this, it's going to be a bit messy. After that is done, you're gonna go ahead and check up on your seeds. As you can see, this is starting to simmer up. The way that you're gonna check that this is turning into gel is by simply doing what I'm doing here. So taking your spoon, rinsing out the water, trying to see how it drops, you know, and you'll know it's ready when it starts to be very jelly-like. It'll, it'll start to get thicker as you go and you'll start to notice that on the camera as well. You'll also wanna keep an eye on this while you make your gel because it can overflow. And then you're going to set a timer for 10 minutes and you're going to turn off the heat and that will really really help advance that gel texture that you're looking for. After that's all said and done, you're going to just pour the seeds into the tights and I was very stubborn and did not wait. We were supposed to wait for it to cool down because if you don't you will burn yourself and i definitely did i'm not gonna lie to you but yes you let it cool down and essentially this is what's gonna happen you're supposed to squeeze the seeds all the way to the bottom and the gel comes out as you can see the steam is literally there don't do what i did guys it's really cool though it's really a fun experiment if you think of it that way like you're kind of just squeezing and this really cool substance was made from just seeds and water it's really interesting And if you're wondering what the texture is like, which I'm feeling here for the first time, it's very slimy, very silky, kind of like egg whites, honestly. It does look really kind of gross, but don't worry about that. Thank you. 
after you're done with that, you're going to just pour it into your mason jar. You want to make sure you get a seal tight container or mason jar because you don't want it to get bad on you. And this is what it would look like. It has this weird brown color. Don't worry about that. And here I am sealing my mason jar to make sure I take good care of it. And I just store it in the fridge. And here is me the next day on wash day. And I'm just trying to test out the consistency. And honestly, this should be more gel-like. But I think... I could have let it boil a bit more i'll be honest with you so this is kind of watery to say the least but the concept was still there and it was succeeded <laughs> here i am just going in with my hair routine my natural hair routine i wash my hair and now i'm doing some leave-in Then I put my curly hair products in, my styling products, which is usually just the pillow soft when I'm trying to keep it simple. And normally I would use my eco styler here, but instead I used my flaxseed gel to see what would happen when my hair's all dry. So it really passes through the hair really nicely. It feels very watery, like very smooth. And I'm just showing you another close-up of the texture here. But I technically, the way I was making it work was I just grab a scoop with my hand and go really quick to my hair so I don't make a mess. But that's how I was putting it through my hair. And honestly, put as much as you feel feels right. I did put a good amount, like maybe the same I would use for regular gel, but a little bit more. And here I like to finger coil my hair, just part of my process in the front, because my curls in the front tend to just struggle to coil up. Before I go to bed, I like to put my bonnet on. Yes, I sometimes sleep with my hair wet. I haven't had any issues thus far. This is also my hair after my big chop, so it's been completely healthy and it's just something I do. Ta-da! So it's the next day and guys, this was my hair. The lighting was not being nice with me, but my hair was the same. Like, still had the bounce, still had that hold. The gel definitely did work. I'm trying to show you the front hair because there was some crusting okay i'll be honest with you i don't know if it was the gel or the combo of the gel with the products but there was some white flakes that the camera's not picking up that i did want to be honest with you guys about but here is the final result in a picture and this is my experience with flaxseed gel i hope you guys like this video so much i really had fun making it experimenting really and just trying to see different ways i can incorporate healthier types of products if you will more natural products into my hair as i am on this curly hair journey if you want to see more curly hair natural hair type videos or you're interested in seeing the advice stuff i have to offer please subscribe to my channel don't be shy leave a like leave a comment have you tried this before of all the people i know i'm the only one that has tried the flaxseed gel at home but if you have please let me know in the comments below if you're interested in trying please let me know that you're gonna go ahead and do that and tell me how you felt what was your experience also i'd recommend just get a smaller bag of flaxseed gel because i know i have a huge bag here and i mean that's great because i can always go back and make more gel but as you can see a lot of gel is made from just one fourth cup of seeds so yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one and have a good day good morning good night wherever you are however you're starting your day see you in the next one bye